So you're a new player who has just started Stardew Valley for the very first time and you are absolutely loving the farm life, just casually playing the game, leveling up those skills, but one night when you go to sleep, you come across a screen where you have reached level 5 in a certain skill and it gives you two options of professions to choose from. And you're like, hmm, which one do I pick? Well look no further because I will be telling you the best professions to choose for each skill as a beginner in Stardew Valley. To make life on the farm much more easier, more successful, more rewarding, and overall less stressful and confusing. But before we do that, we have a sponsor for today's video. Project Makeover, a mobile game with over 50 million downloads. This is a reality TV style drama game where you can choose looks and work to deliver confidence boosting makeovers and house renovations to many clients in need of help. You can choose from a large collection of fashion clothes and hair and makeup and give those clients the perfect makeover that they deserve. In order to fund makeovers and home renovations for each of the show's characters, you will have to solve some fashion based match free puzzles which are very addictive but can also bring you a challenge. You can also create and stylize your own avatar while completing game levels and gaining power-ups to help progression. And you can share this with friends and visit them. Try Project Makeover yourself for free by clicking the link down below in the description and also you will receive 300 gems. Thanks to the sponsor, let's get back to the video. Okay, so we're going to start with the first skill, which is farming. Now, this skill actually depends on your playstyle because everybody is different, and there is two paths you can go with with the farming skill. That is to become a rancher and look after animals, or become someone who focuses more on crops and farming for plants. Now, like I said, this depends on your playstyle. If you like looking after animals in Stardew Valley or in any game, and then you want to go down that path, which I think, in my opinion, is the best way to go as a beginner of Stardew. Valley. So out of the first two skills you get to choose from rancher or tiller, now I recommend to go with the rancher route which makes animal products worth 20% more and then you can follow this on if you get to level 10 by choosing coop master which makes the coop animals much more friendlier, easier to build up the relationship which obviously benefits in the long run because they'll give you more animal products which obviously then sell for 20% more. Now the reason why I believe this is the better way to go as a new player in Stardew Valley because in the first one or even two years you probably are not going to be making lots of artisan products which is why the tiller profession is good because eventually you can path to the artisan profession which makes all of your wine, beers, truffle oil etc worth 40% more. So in the long run and in the end game I recommend going for the artisan profession because that is what is going to make you more money but when you start a new game you aren't going to be making lots of wine or truffle oil for a very long time because it takes a long time to max out the farm skill in the first place it takes a long time to craft lots of kegs so it's much more convenient to go with the rancher route and the animals because yeah you can literally sell all of your animal products i recommend to actually go with ducks as well ducks is a lot better if you choose the coop master profession because not only do duck eggs sell for 20 percent more but duck eggs cannot be processed into mayonnaise or any artisan good so it literally is more profitable to use the ducks with the rancher and coop master profession because if you get chickens for example you can turn their products into mayonnaise which eventually using the artisan profession is much more profitable so go with ducks they also produce duck feathers which also sell for 20 percent more and this is going to be much more profitable in the beginning of your adventure and another good thing about coop master is the incubator speed is cut in half so hatching eggs is so much faster literally a couple of days you'll have a new chicken and then in a couple of days that chicken's probably got two or three hearts you can sell that and then keep breeding them and that's a good way of making money early on in stardew valley and you don't even have to sell the chickens of course they're just going to be producing lots of eggs which you can sell for good money at the start once you are in the end game a couple of years down the line I recommend to switch this path because you can do that in Stardew Valley. If you spend 10,000 gold down in the sewers at the shrine, you can change your profession anytime you like. And then, yeah, definitely switch up to the tiller profession and then go with the artisan profession as well. This is going to make you lots of money when you eventually get to that stage where you can make lots of wine. Let's move on to mining. Now, I recommend to choose the minor profession at level 5, which will give you plus 1 ore per vein, followed by the prospector for the level 10 profession, which gives you a more chance to find coal. Now, this is so crucial and important as a beginner of Stardew Valley because you want a good supply of ore and coal, which is going to help 
help with the smelting process for those copper bars, iron bars, gold bars, etc., which are used so much in the early stages of the game for crafting, for buildings, etc. It's quite difficult to get a lot of ore and coal at the start of the game. So this skill path is going to really help with that. The other path, of course, is the geologist and the gemologist, which makes you be able to find gems easier and they sell for more. But like I said, in the early stages of Stardew Valley, you aren't going to be finding many gems. You aren't going to be able to duplicate them with crystallariums because that's going to take a long time. So selling gems is not something you're going to be doing very early on, at least until a few years down the line. I recommend eventually to do go with the gemologist route when you are at a stage where you're making lots of gems with the crystallariums. And then yeah, this is going to be a lot more important to make money. But in the early stages, you are not going to be focusing on that. You just need all of your resources. And that is where we move on to foraging, another important skill at the beginning. So I recommend at level five choosing Forester, which will give you 25% more wood, and then followed by the Lumberjack at level 10, which is going to give you a chance of finding hardwood. Very similar to mining, this is going to be a great source of wood. You'll be able to find and stock up on this a lot more, which is used for buildings and lots of crafting. Wood is as crucial and essential in the early stages of the game. Literally knocking down a tree can give you up to like 25 pieces of wood per tree, and near enough finding hardwood with every single one. The other route is obviously the foraging, which is the gatherer and botanist. Eventually, when you are far in the game and you no longer need wood, you no longer need hardwood, you've got all the buildings, you've crafted everything, of course you want to go with the foraging route because this is going to be a lot better at making money, etc. So once you're at a point where you don't need wood anymore, I recommend to switch this skill to the botanist level 10 profession which makes all the forageable goods iridium quality and of course you can find more of that as well but early on you need that wood now we'll move on to fishing there's only one route you should go with with fishing this is at the beginning and at the end game so at level five you want to choose fisher this is something you want no matter what it's so much better than the other path and then you want to go with Angler. So in total, this will make your fish worth 50% more. This is a great way to make money early on in the game. Fishing, selling them at 50% more profit. You're going to be making a lot and a lot of money to get you started off in Stardew Valley. Fishing is a great way to make money, especially if you go down this path with the professions. Now, one thing that I would recommend as you get a bit later on in the game and you don't really need the money from fishing, I'd recommend to still choose the fisher at level 5, but then instead of Angler, go with Pirate. This is going to be amazing for trying to finish the museum because there's a chance of finding a lot more treasure chests when fishing. So if there are a few minerals or artifacts that you are needing to find, fishing is a great thing for that. You can also find some pretty good weapons and awesome resources and loot as well. You will still have the fisher profession, which makes the fish sell for 25% more. So you do lose 25% on that instead of 50, of course, with the angler. But like I said, once you're at a point in the game where money is no longer a thing that you really need, then yeah, you want to be finding that treasure. I never really gone with the other path of fishing with the crab pots, etc. It's just not worth it in my opinion. So now we move on to the last skill, combat. Where do we go from here? So, as a beginner of Stardew Valley, combat can be quite overwhelming and you're going to be having a rough time if it's something you're not familiar with, even in the lower levels of the mines, but especially when you get to the school cavern. So something you want to focus on here is the professions that are going to help you out killing enemies, make you stronger. So at level 5, I recommend to go with Fighter, which gives you a 10% increase to your damage, but also gives you a permanent plus 15 HP. So alone, this is incredible. And then at level 10, I recommend to go with Brute. So this stacks on top of the Fighter, which gives you 10% and you'll get an extra 15% total damage, which in total makes you have a 25% extra total damage dealt against enemies. This is going to make you very, very strong, easier to kill enemies, makes mining trips so much more easier and less stressful as well. On top of having a great weapon, this can be a good combination and really, really help you speed through those mine levels. I'll always choose Brute over Defender because yeah, having that 25 HP, does it's not really worth it. 25 HP is basically one hit from an enemy in the school cavern. They can literally deal around 25 damage. So you get one extra hit, which is not really worth it in my opinion. So always go with more strength. But if you want to be a little bit different, a route that I've gone with before and really enjoy is going with Scout and Acrobat. This is really good for critical hits. If you like using weapons like the Sledgehammers or the Lead Bats, 
Acrobat is amazing because this replenishes the special ability in half. So you can use your special weapon abilities and your blocks very fast. And I love doing this, especially with the sledgehammers and the bats. The power up on that weapon is very, very handy and can deal amazing amounts of damage, especially with the scout increasing the critical hit. This can be a good combination, but it is a little bit more difficult because the weapons are slower. So if you're not familiar with combat, then of course go with the fighter slash brute where you're a bit more stronger. But if you fancy a change up and something a little bit interesting and fun, the scout and acrobat is very, very, very fun. So overall, Let's go over the things again briefly. If you're going with the farming route as a beginner, go down the animal path, make some good money, get those animals' hearts up a lot faster, breed those animals a lot faster, and then eventually when you get to a point where that's no longer a thing, and it's not making as much money as you'd like, change this up and go with the tiller and artisan profession, which is the best in the game, which makes your wines and things like that so much more money. Mining, go with the miner and the prospector, but eventually, where you no longer need those resources, go with the gemologist path, which makes those gems sell for 30% more. Again, switching up for big money, which is an end game thing. Foraging, go with forester and lumberjack, really great for getting that early supply of wood. And when you no longer need that, go with the foraging path and get high quality and lots more forage goods. Fishing, as always, go with Fisher and Angler, making that fish worth 50% more in total. Perfect for early on to make big money. Then switch it up and go with Pirate when you are advanced in the game and you need to finish that museum. Combat, have fun with this. Fighter and Brute is amazing to deal damage early on and even end game. But if you want to switch things up, like I said, go with Acrobat and use those power-ups on the weapons, especially the mallets and the bats and hammers, because that is a great, powerful move. Hopefully this helps you out as a beginner of Stardew Valley. I know it can be a little bit daunting to decide what path to go with, especially if you've never played the game. So following this profession path is going to help you out massively early on and give you a good head start. But overall, it doesn't really matter. Everybody's different. Go with the path that suits you. And of course, you can change this at any time using the shrine in the sewers. It's just gonna cost you 10,000 gold, that is all. But but yeah, you can have fun and experiment with loads of different ones. The beauty of Stardew Valley is the variety of things you can do. Let me know down below in the comments your favorite profession paths. Which one do you always have regardless? For me, it is of course the artisan profession and the fishing, I always keep the same. I never really change up. Smash the like button if you've learned something new here today. And if you've enjoyed the video, subscribe as well if you haven't already to see lots of more videos and content like this. Thank you all for watching. Have fun if you are a new player in Stardew Valley. I'm so jealous of your first experience. I'd love to go back down that path again and experience Stardew Valley for the very first time. Oh, the good old days. Stay safe, guys. And most of all, stay cozy.